chose this painting to do my analysis. And the name of this painting is The Offering of Noah, and the, the name of the artist is Salvador Castiglione. And it is made of oil on canvas, and the date is possibly in the 1640s. As we take a look into the painting, we can see that Noah, the man in red, is represented as a vertical line. And vertical lines are known for showing stress. This is proven in this painting because as we can see, he is arguing with God who is up on the clouds. This painting has hard lines as well as implied lines, which are lines that we see but are necessarily lines. There are some implied lines on the clothing of the people, there's also some on the clouds, and on the human bodies. Some examples of where actual lines are present are on the outlines of the arc on the top and on the altar. This painting is mostly made of organic shapes due to the people, however there is some geometric shapes on the arc and on the altar as we can see some rectangles. Chiaroscuro is present in this painting as we can see the illusion of mass and volume. We can also feel the texture of some of the objects in this painting since it is an oil painting. For example, we can identify that the clothing that the woman in white and blue is kind of silky and is also in a way heavy. Space is represented in this painting as we can see the overlapping of objects. For example, the man in blue overlapping the altar as the clouds on the top overlap the sheep and Noah overlaps the clouds. We can also see that the man bending down wearing yellow is overlapping the three ladies in the back of him as they overlap the woman and the man in the back and they finally overlap the arc. We can also see that some part of the arc on the top is overlapping the rainbow. Atmospheric perspective is present in this painting which is created by the changes in color. We can see that there is a lot of detail in the foreground as we can see that the artist focused a lot on the detail on the bodies of the people as well as on the clothing. However, if we take a look at the background, we can see that it is more blurry. We can identify that the background has mountains, however, they do not have as much detail as the foreground does, and this is how we can see atmospheric perspective. We can also see movements in this painting shown by the curves of the people. For example, the man in the blue, who is in the shape of a curve, as we can see that he is bending down, as well as the man next to him in the yellow, who is also bending down, and we can see this by the curve of his body. And we can also see this with the lady next to him in the blue, who is also bending down, and we can see this movement once again with... We are able to see time in this painting because the artist stops time in a crucial moment. This crucial moment is when Noah is arguing with God, and that is how we are able to see time. We can also identify that this painting is isometrical because we cannot put a line in the middle of it. Finally, we are able to identify that this painting has a focal point which is what the artist wants us to focus on. We can see that the focal point of this painting is God because everybody in the painting is focusing on him. For example, Noah, who with his, with his two arms is pointing at him, as well as the man in blue overlapping the altar, and we can see that he is looking at him as well. We can also see that both of the ladies next to the woman with the white and blue are staring at him, as well as the woman in the back who with her arm is pointing at him, as well as the man next to her who is also looking at him. This is how we identify that God is the focal point of this painting.